guys welcome to geo Mutsuku. in today's video i'm going to show you how to use the map code you can see the map code 2926 aa blue fountain every map has a name and that may that name of the map uh, contains a map code for this map of blue fountain it says 2926 aa now in the last term's paper there was a question which said complete the block to indicate uh, the map reference so i'm going to show you how we can use this code to complete a block in the 2629AA Bloom Fontaine. 2629AA Bloom Fontaine. Now, the first thing you do, the first thing I did was to draw a block, right? I drew a block. But before I even go to this block, I want us to know a few things, right? This 29 represents 29 degrees latitude. Latitude. You always give latitudes first that's why south whenever you give coordinates you give your degrees your minutes your seconds south and then recite your degrees minutes seconds east south must always be on this side because it's a latitude latitude always comes first latitude always comes first okay so this 26 represents my 26 degrees longitude longitude and then the first letter in this case it's an A. It represents my big letter. Big letter or a big block. A big letter or a big block. The second letter is the small letter. The small letter or the small block. Right? Okay, so now to represent this map code, I start by drawing a block and say I draw one block. Right? And then these, look at these lines. These lines are lines of latitude these are lines of latitude right which means that this line and this one they are both lines of latitude line of latitude and i told you this 29 degrees represents my latitude so i'll put it here along a line of latitude 29 degrees right these are lines of longitude you see these are lines of longitude and I told you this 26 represents 26 degrees longitude. So I'll put it along this line of longitude. This is 26 degrees. Right? 29 latitude. 29 degrees is along a line of latitude. 26 degrees is for my longitude. It's along a line of longitude. Which means this next line of longitude will be 27 degrees since this one is 26. Since this line of latitude is 29 degrees, it means the next one will be 30 degrees, right? Okay, so my first step is done. Now, the second step is to divide this block into four quadrants. Into four quadrants. Let me do that. Uh, right now. Uh, right? Can you see that? I divide this block into four quadrants. This is where I go on to my big letter, small letter. Right? I will draw a very big A on the first one. The second one will be B. The third one is C. And the last one is D. You can see that these are my big letters. My big letters, right? My big letters or uh, my big blocks. Or my big block, right? I, I like to refer to them as quadrants. Quadrant A, quadrant B, quadrant C, quadrant D. Or you can say, uh, big block A, big, big block B, big block C, and big block D, right? I already know that I'm working with this one because look at this. I have big A, which means I have to focus on this quadrant because I'm working with a big letter A, right? And a small A. Now, these four uh, big letters, I have to divide these blocks into four again. Let me try and use another color for that one. I have to go further and divide these into four. I hope you can see I've divided the first one into four, second one into four, third one into four, and the last one into four. Right? See, I have big letters A, B, C, D. Now I'm going to have small letters. It's not even small letters, but small block A, small block B, small block C small block D right next one again small A 
B C D A B C D A B C D right can you see that I have a very big letter or a big block A is for this first letter the second one is for a small one small block so I have a big block A and a small block A which means I have to shade in this small block A I am working with this part right I have a big A and a small A here's the big A the main one and then the small A is this one here I have to shade it in to indicate my answer right I have to shade it in let me use orange for sure I am working with this one where I have a big A and a small A right because the answer says 29 26 here's my 29 it's a latitude the latitude always comes where here's the latitude and then 26 is a longitude I have my longitude here right and then I have a big A here's the big A big A small A there's the small A. I have to shade in that block and then I'll get my answer. Right? And then I'll get my answer. So the main thing is you draw a main block and then you put uh, the latitude used to the 9 degrees along a line of latitude. These are lines of latitude going from west to east to west to east, right? And then these are lines of longitude. That's why I put the 26 here along a line of longitude right and then i draw my big letters a b c d and then i divide these quadrants into four again i put smaller letters the a b c d then since my map code is saying a a it means the first letter is a big one here's my big letter and then the second letter is in the small block then i go to the small block and shade it in to indicate my answer right now let's say the question is asking you for uh, let's say it wants an, the map uh, code or the map reference south of 2926 AA south of 2926 AA now I want the map reference south of 2926 AA this is 2926 AA so what you do is you draw your compass direction right north uh, south north uh, south east and west now i want the map reference south of this the map reference south of this will still be it is in this block everything inside this block is 29 26. this block represents 29 26. So the, the numbers will be the same, it will be 29, uh, 26, but now the letters are going to change because I'm going south of 29, 26 AA, which is this one here. South will be here where I'm having the small C, but the big letter is still A, it's still within A. So it will be A, but the small letter is no longer A, it is now C because I'm going south, I'm going under it. So it will be 2926AC if I'm going south of 2926AA. Remember, I found 2926AA. It is this shaded block. Now, if I'm to go south of it, it is now a, a different letter C, right? But 2926 remains the same because it is in this entire block. This entire block is 2926, right? That's why 2926 is the same. And then let's look at the big big letter. The big letter is still A, so it remains as A. But I'm going south, which means the small letter is now changing to A C. 2926 A C. Right? Now if I have to go, uh, let's so I, let's say I have to go east. I have to go east of 2926 AA. I have to go east. East is on this side, right? East is on this side where I have a small b. Okay, first of all, I am still in within this block, which means that the numbers for latitude remain the same. It is still 29, 
26. I'm still within this block. Right? Let's look at a small letter. The small letter is a B. It's no longer an A, right? Okay. Before you even go there, let's look at the big letter. It is still within this quadrant where we have a big A, right? So the big A remains the same. The big A remains the same. But the small, the smaller letter or the smaller block, is it still an A? It is no longer an A because we are looking in this direction now, looking at east, right? So it will be B, it will be 26, 29, A, B, right? If we, if we were going east. Now, let's say we were going, uh, what you call it? Let's say we were going west on this side. We are going west on this, in this direction, right? We are going west. Can you see that we are now leaving? We are now leaving this entire block if we go west, which means a lot of things are going to change now. A lot of things are going to change. We are now leaving this, we are going west. I have to draw the previous block. I have to draw the previous block if I'm going west. And I have to divide it into four. This will be a big A. This will be a big B. This will be a big C. This will be a big D, right? And then I have to further divide these ones into four again. Look at this. Right? Then you have SD. A, B, C, D. Right? The latitude will still be the same. The latitude, the longitude is going to be one less. This is 26, right? This is 27. The previous longitude, this is the longitude, 27, 26. The previous one is a 25, right? So my latitude remains the same. It is still a 29. I'm still along this line of latitude, which is a 29. My latitude, if I'm going west, my latitude re re remains as a 29. But then now, my longitude, here's my longitude, 27, 26. But in this block, it is the previous longitude, which is 25. It will be 29, 25. Now, let's look at the letter. The big letter will still be an A. Remember, I'm going west. I'm going in this direction. I mean, I'm now in this quadrant the big letter is no longer this a it is now this b because i'm going inside here right i'm now going inside here so the big letter is now a big b and then the small one is also a b can you see that 